period. Well, Chris, here's a video. How you doing, folks? Good morning. The hair's a bit up in the air. Um, we're here this morning with the McNamara's cutting turf for Lizelton with um, a Tiva, sorry, a Tiva turf hopper, self propelled turf hopper. This is a 1995 Tiva self propelled turf hopper. They were built in Clare Galway, in Galway, in County Galway, Ireland. I believe this is a 1995 model. Um, <clears throat> these are a fantastic machine considering we say the body in the back of them there can completely come off the turf hopper. And I've just done a bit of research over the last couple of days about it. You can actually put on a stoning cart. Um, you could put on just a normal trailer for drawing turf. Um, you could put on a forestry mounding machine. If anyone doesn't know what forestry mounding is, it's when a very young forestry is being planted and there's saplings being set and there's just little lumps of peat put in to get the sapling up off the ground. Um, you can put a sausage turf machine on the back of them, which is like a chainsaw. I have a video there of the Daltons cutting with that thing. Um, you could put another yoke on the back of them for digging drains, kind of like two discs, and you drive along and they dig a, a V drain and they just throw the stuff out to either side. Um, Tiva eventually went, I don't know that they got bankrupt or what happened, but they were taken over by a crowd called Difco, and Difco were based in Roscommon. see the oak there in the back of the machine where the sods come out. Let's say it's about an eight sod hopper. And of course the man driving this digger, if any of you want to hear his his rant, his name is Jor McNamara. Jor is what we would call to we were called the MB Track Guru of Ireland. If you want to know anything about MB Tracks, or you have an MB Track and you want to do it up, you, you talk to this man here, Jor McNamara. Look him up, find him, he'll get you going if you're in trouble. Let's um, walk over and we'll give a, a look at this yoke spreading a bit of turf. Here we are, you can hear the, the roar out of the Cummins. Is a, you know, is she a V8 or what is she? Which is a Cummins. Just to give you a bit of history about the turf in Ireland, they're cutting turf in Ireland with over 5 million years. That's how long they're cutting turf in Ireland, a harvesting piece. And just to compare to that, they reckon that in less than 100 years' time, we'll be completely depleted out of lithium. And if you don't know what lithium is, lithium is the stuff they're putting into the new electric car batteries. See the turf there being extruded. There's an auger going across the back there and down into the thing. Down into the extruder.
there's a sum machine to travel. I think this is only one of about 26 that were ever built of this model of this type. Of course, um, Tiva also made sausage machines, they made trail toppers, they made everything to do with, with, with turf. Like I've often thought about it like that if the turf industry had stayed going as strong as it was, we'll say in the 80s and the 90s and the 70s, 80s and 90s when these machines were built, what what kind of machines would be there today? It would be just absolutely frightening machines. Of course, inside in the hopper then you have two augers that chew up the, the turf, chew up the peat. Just to go back to what I was saying while they're backing in there for another load of stuff, another load of peace. Um, roughly in the world, um, there's roughly 50 million acres of peat. There's peatlands throughout the whole world, Ireland, Africa, America, England, Asia, Russia. There's peat in every corner of the world. And it's easily enough accessible. Um, and just to give you, I suppose, a comparison to that, there is roughly 14 million tons of lithium. Like I said, lithium is what they put into these electric car batteries. The lithium will be completely and utterly depleted in a hundred years time. I know that won't bother me or you possibly, but just like, they're harvesting peat in Ireland for home heating and all this with over 5,000 years and lithium will be gone in less than 100 and they're on about depleting the bogs so like they have a lot to answer for if you ask me and I suppose how the bogs were formed is years of I suppose like grass like that and trees like this one time would possibly have been a great forestry or a great oak forestry and it was up in a hump now if you look over there on the hill in the background, you can see the areas, that's belly bunion. But it was inside in a hole, and what happened was there was a climate change or a shift in the climate, and all these holes filled up of water, and years and years, thousands and thousands of years of vegetating, rotting, um, created, um, created the bogs. That's what it is, it's rotten vegetation over thousands of years. I suppose if you go down five feet, um, okay, the boys there are going down probably 10, maybe 12, 14 feet there in places. And you can see it's getting higher in the background. But five feet down, they take. They reckon it takes 2,000 years to grow five feet of peat. But it takes millions of years to grow lithium and it's never going to be replaced. Never, ever. Like the bog we're standing on at the moment, this is possibly cut away from previous years. But this is actually growing. This is, this is literally still growing. And just to give you an example again, the 50 million acres of peat that's in the world, Ireland roughly in size is 20 million acres. So, about two and a half times the size of Ireland. So you start cutting a mizzen head and I start cutting a melon head. It'll take us an awful long time to meet in the middle. Like, one time in Ireland, this what he's doing here now was probably a four or five men, definitely a four or five family team job. You would have one fella on what we would call the slawn, another fella grabbing, and then you could have ending up to two people spreading the turf out here, what he's doing here now.
hope you're enjoying it guys. Give a like, give a subscribe if you haven't already and like I said, it's free to subscribe. There's a lot of things in this world at the moment that's free. But subscribe to the channel and um, we're getting there. I don't know where we're going and every thousand subscriber mark we're going to hit, we're going to give away, well we might give away a model tractor every time, but the next thousand subscribers we're going to give away a model tractor and we will give away something every thousand subscribers. So when we hit 2,000 subscribers, I think at the moment we're at about 1,300. So if you want to be in with a chance, subscribe to the, the channel and um, be in with a chance to win, as I said. So a Tiva, I don't know she a bog master or what would you call it, but she's a self-propelled turf hopper and you know what this is gone because if the if the green party get their way which they possibly will um next september september 2022 they don't want any of this they only want people cutting for their own use <clears throat> and for their own whatever and it won't pay the likes of the contractors the likes of the mcnamara's and whoever it just simply will not pay them to move this machine and move the digger maybe to cut three bins of turf it just saw all these yokes but of course look they can be they can be transformed into different machines like I said earlier on they're on there with you could put everything more or less everything you wanted on the back of Alright guys, that's kind of it for myself. I heard just one other bit of a rant about the Irish and the Irish government and all this. RTE News ran with a story in 1980 about this new powerful sausage turf machine that was on display in County Limerick belonged to DIFCO. Now they're running with the stories that the government don't want us doing this no more. And I know there's probably someone watching this video just disagreeing with me and disagreeing with the cutting of peat and all that, and that's fine. You're, you're well entitled to your opinion. But it's just, to me, this is how rural Ireland has heated its homes for thousands of years. Like even going back a hundred years ago, there was employment in the bogs and they drew turf into the local towns and sold it and it was a it was a source of revenue for for a lot of people in Ireland. And you'd help out each other, it was called coring. All the local everyone would kinda of help out, everyone would get together and they would just help out each other and you'd go to the bog, you wouldn't get paid for it. You'll probably get fed, and but you definitely wasn't going to get paid. It was kind of a, a day's work for a day's a day's work. You looked after him, and even if that person didn't cut turf, you would um, you would what you call it. You would give him a hand at the hay, or you would give him a hand at silage, or whatever, but no more. No, I hated the bog. I hated going to the bog. I went to the bog with my parents for years. My mother, like I said before in another video, my mother used to cut all the turf. My father would do the grabbing, and myself and my brothers would do the spreading. And like I said, <laughs> we I got cute after a while, I suppose I got smart. And my job was to light the fire, so I better boil the kettle. And 
when I'd boil the kettle, I would carry a couple of little knobs of coal from my grandmother's house. My grandmother used to burn coal and turf. And um, I put two, maybe three knobs of coal into the fire and it would boil the kettle faster. And that way you would stop for tea sooner. You stop for tea when the kettle was boiled. That's kind of it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said already, if you haven't already subscribed, it's free. And hit the bell, hit that notification button, and listen to the sound of that, that Cummins hum. And thanks again to John McNamara and Paddy for leaving me video on at the turf. She's empty. Like one time in Ireland, this what he's doing here now was probably a four or five men, definitely a four or five family team job. You would have one fella on what we would call the slawn, another fella grabbing. And then you can have anything up to two people spreading the turf out here, what he's doing here now.
hope you're enjoying it guys give a like give a subscribe if you haven't already and like I said it's free to subscribe there's a lot of things in this world at the moment that's free but subscribe to the channel and um, we're getting there I don't know where we're going and every thousand subscriber mark we're gonna hit we're gonna give away well we might give away a model tractor every time but the next thousand subscribers we're going to give away a model tractor and we will give away something every thousand subscribers so when we hit 2,000 subscribers, I think at the moment we're at about 1,300. So if you want to be in with a chance, subscribe to the, the channel and um, be in with a chance to win, as I said. So a Tiva, I don't know she a bog master or what would you call it, but she's a self-propelled turf hopper. And you know what? This is gone because if the if the Green Party get their way, which they possibly will, um, next September, September 2022, they don't want any of this. They only want people cutting for their own use <clears throat> and for their own whatever. And it won't pay the likes of the contractors, the likes of the McNamara's and whoever. It just simply will not pay them to move this machine and move the digger maybe to cut three bins of turf it just saw all these yokes but of course look they can be they can be transformed into different machines like I said earlier on they're on there with you can put everything more or less everything you wanted on the back of them 